Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another glorious Soviet Sunday with workers and resources, Soviet Republic. Today is going to be a pretty, uh, I'm going to call it prosperous day, just to jinx myself and watch as all the money goes away. But we've got a bit of a plan today to ensure that our uh, wealth situation finally gets sorted out. Now, many of you have been giving me some uh, really helpful comments and suggestions and whatnot. Uh, for that, I must say thanks first and foremost, because I've been getting some uh, suggestions on how to, you know, make sure that we're constructing everything ourselves. And a lot of reminders, very important reminders, to stay patient. Because that's one of my biggest expenses, that's one of my biggest costs, is that uh, I get impatient and then I rush construction and stuff, or I build something before we're able to afford it, and uh, and then I pay the price for it, the, the ultimate price for it, which is, you know, bankruptcy. Uh, so thank you for all those reminders and suggestions. I want to mention, as always, if you've been enjoying the series and you would like to see it continue, uh, as many of you do seem to be, uh, you know, doing, enjoying, and whatnot, uh, please do not hesitate to let me know by dropping a like and a comment down below. It really does make a very big difference in uh, how I approach content on the channel. And uh, apart from that, I have also been taking rename suggestions from the comments. Uh, for example, our farm area is now called Farminsky. And uh, while there was a hilarious suggestion to call uh, this region uh, undergrad because it's got our university over here, it is also the name of our core city. So I just want to throw it out there. Should we rename our core like uh, residential area and stuff undergrad because of its one university over here? Or do we want to think about some other potential uh, names as well? Because I love the name. It's, it's hilarious. It sounds suitably Soviet. Uh, and it refers to, you know, obviously the university over here. So I do like it a lot. I just want to make sure before we commit uh, that that's exactly what we want. Want, but great suggestion and again yeah Farminsky down here we've got party power from since the beginning but uh, Luhasik perhaps needs a new name as well so go ahead and uh, feel, feel, feel free to suggest some names uh, that we can use over there and eventually when we can afford it we can actually start getting uh uh, city halls and accounting offices. This is a new feature, I believe, from the latest update a couple weeks ago. And uh, with that, we can start keeping a track of all these separate um, areas and cities and whatnot a little bit more in depth. I find that really cool. Uh, all right, so what is the plan for today? Now, for a while now, we've been trying to get the uh, fabric factory up over here so that we can get the clothing factory, uh, its fabric supply locally. Because right now and forever, our uh, one of our biggest expenses has been fabric where is it if i can find it, there we go fabric look at that this month already in well the month's almost over so this is actually a good indication 20k on fabric now granted clothes have made us a fair bit of money if we take a look at our exports we have made 25k so that's not bad that's not bad but but if we weren't spending the 20k our gains would be a lot a lot higher so what we want to do is this session we want to try and fabricate a new source of income so to speak by building a uh, fabric factory right over here it should be able to fit pretty easily if we get rid of this uh, gas station move it elsewhere we should be able to fit the fabric factory over here nicely set up some automation over here and uh, in order to build it all we need our workers, of course, concrete, gravel, asphalt, steel, bricks, boards, and some mechanical components. And thanks to some excellent suggestions as to how we can use mechanical components or how we can obtain mechanical components without building them, uh, we should be able to do this entirely ourselves. Now, the only thing the clothing industry will be importing is crops. Thankfully, crops are pretty cheap to import, so I'm not too worried about that. Where are we? Crops, you know, very, very, very cheap to import compared especially to uh, where to go. Fabric is... I wish this was alphabetical. There we go. Yeah, so not that bad. We're going to be making some huge savings with that. Now, in order to get that to happen, though, we have to work on some other things first. I want to make sure my construction office is fully equipped and good to go. Uh, so we need to get an asphalt factory, even if we're importing the raw materials. We want to get a, a, an asphalt plant, sorry, built. And mechanical components and electronic components, we need to find a way to get them. And again, I've been given some suggestions in the comments. I was also suggested to purchase a couple more vehicles uh, over here. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a tower, tower crane. No, I think the road crane was a suggestion. Uh, to speed up construction a little bit. Uh, so let's go ahead and get... I believe this is the best one. The U377 is, I think, the best one for cost. Let's go with one of these. We want another dumper. And ideally, we'd have a paver and a roller as well. So there we go. A fully equipped and capable construction office. I might need to build a few more. Let's go ahead and increase the auto search range. I might need to build a few more eventually... 
Uh, but for now, hopefully we can avoid that cost. And hopefully this range is enough. Yeah. Let's do that. Uh, so that's the construction office kitted out. However, we need an asphalt plant. So first of all, if we were to get that, we would need to obtain... Yeah, we'd need to obtain, let's see, concrete, gravel, asphalt, steel, and mechanical components. Now, unfortunately, asphalt is the only thing... Asphalt. I keep saying asphalt. I don't know why I say that. It's just like a habit I must have had since I was very young or something. Asphalt is uh, kind of a... It's a kind of a, a little self-fulfilling prophecy over here. We need asphalt to make the asphalt plant. So a little a bit of this will have to be uh, expenses, but it's not that expensive to build the asphalt plant. Uh, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. We have just over... I thought we had more money than that when we ended last time. Oh, well, <laughs> we're above a million. Uh, but what I can do is I can start the construction without the uh, without the asphalt, and then we'll... Uh, or, yeah, without the asphalt, and then we'll auto-construct the end there. Um, and I, I believe that should do the trick. The other thing I can do, which was the recommendation for getting mechanical components, is to get a warehouse and uh, use the warehouse, if I can find... There we go. Use the warehouse to obtain mechanical components and store the mechanical components. And that I should also get a road cargo uh, station. Road cargo lot station. Yeah. Get one of these because things load faster off of these. So I have a bit of a plan as to how to implement that over here. But let's see what order we should do stuff in. So everything, of course, needs asphalt, right? Yeah. I can build most of the road cargo. I can build most of everything, which is the unfortunate part. Build most of that. I can probably build, I think, mo most of the warehouse as well. Is the, warehouse, the warehouse isn't here. Where are we? Yeah, just the asphalt. Three tons. Probably build the asphalt plant first, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that first, and we'll import the mechanical components. Okay, so. Asphalt plant. We'll get everything here, except for the mechanical components, and then we'll rush to build so we get that out. So we're going to put this down over here, actually, so it's close to our construction office. Um, and eventually, it's able to get uh, resources. It needs gravel, and it needs bitumen. So bitumen we'll get eventually. Oil is still a couple of sessions off, I think. But at least gravel we can get off of this line over here. So I could probably put this down. Well, let's go ahead and flatten the train a little bit. If I could, if I could just... This is this thing needs this bug needs to be fixed like soon. Like ASAP. There we go. Go ahead and flatten the train a little bit over here. Just want to make sure that uh, we have easy access to the raw materials that we'll need down the line. Because why make that hard on us? Let's go ahead and flatten you a bit as well. Wanna make sure the road has an easy uh, easy way up. Okay, good stuff. Now, this will hopefully be one of the last few things that I pay pay for. In rubles. So I want to make sure I have a bit of a rotation over here. The thing is, both things will probably be probably running pipelines from between both of these, because this also needs oil. And you, yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and try to figure out the rotation that I want to use. Go ahead and do something like that, perhaps. A little far out that way. It gives an easier connection to the gravel eventually. Alright, fine, let's do that. A little bit further out than I was initially hoping for, but we'll make it work. So we can do that. Oh, come on. Right, so we can do that. Connect to the road, connect to the gravel, and then pipes coming down from up top for both of these buildings. Alright. And drop you down over here. Let's go ahead and get the road, which we should be able to build as well, right? Well, no, we don't have asphalt. Or electronic components. So let's go ahead and we'll pay for that. It won't be very expensive. Go ahead and pay for that. Yep. And if we start time up, then this should start getting constructed with the construction office. One more thing I need to do, actually, before I forget, is uh, down over here, I need to finish this crossing. I just did it one way uh, for now to relieve some stress, let's call it. <laughs> but I need this to be both ways so that trains can move in both directions. Auto build you as well. All right. 
There we go. I believe we're good to hit forward on time. Yes, let's go. Alright, so trains are all moving. We're making steel. The other thing I need to solve ASAP is uh, our coal situation. Now, the thing is, I think we're getting enough coal quickly enough. Like, we, maybe we could make it a little bit faster. But I think our actual bottleneck is the, uh, the processing plant. I think. Because we have a constant supply of ore. And even when we have a constant supply of ore, uh, our output... Is, uh, is constantly being drained. So I think I actually need more coal rather than more coal ore. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll see how that uh, how that progresses. Now over here, we do have the power plant assigned. So hopefully we'll get some work done, get this made, and then we can deal with the uh, warehouses and stuff. Now we're, we have, I have a nice plan, which I think will fit. I need to make a couple of adjustments, I think, but they should fit nicely over here. Basically what I want to do is get the... Um, uh, road cargo station because it's pretty small. I'm gonna kind of get it slotted in over here like at roughly this angle so that it can make an automatic connection to the uh, uh, The small storage over here and then I also want to get the warehouse To be placed over here uh, Like so So that we can make a connection a factory connection with that road cargo station and that should work quite well We won't be able to use the uh, the, the tracks unfortunately I don't think we'll need to use the train tracks over here, hopefully. Uh, if we ever do, then we're kind of screwed. Um, but the road will be used to kind of loop around and connect. So, you know, it, it'll kind of work. It'll kind of work. I wish there was... You know what would be really cool for this game? Is if you could actually customize, like, blueprint out your warehouse so you can set the road directions and stuff to be optimal. Because uh, really, there's no reason why I'd put the road output input on this side when I could put it on this side and have an easy connection. Like, things like that kind of customization would be really cool. Um, now, let's see. We actually, I think we stopped. Resources missing coal. Why are we missing coal? Have I stopped its flow? I believe I did at one point. Did I not? I stopped the flow to the brick factory. I should probably resume. There we go. Okay. Um, gotta, like, find all my paths over here. You are pushing in all directions. You are pushing in all directions. The source is not sending resource. Yikes. Yeah, we need more coal fast. This is using a lot of coal as well, of course. I don't want it to stop. Okay, we're getting some. Looks like we're getting some. We're only sending it this way. Make sure of that. Over here, you're looping it around, going up this way. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Oh, there we go, okay. So from here, it's going in both directions, so you are passing it on. You're not getting any. Okay, it's just that we don't have enough coal. Coal ore, specifically. We're losing a fair bit of money as well. What are we losing that money to? Importing all that iron, all the fabric, all the coal ore. Now we need to start uh, making money a little bit faster. Now this is, okay, carrying a fair bit of cash. Definitely want coal over here. Or coal over here. I wonder if I want to reduce how much iron I'm sustaining. Iron ore, I mean. Nah, that's fine. Because I, I think if we're having trouble here, then we're not going to be producing... Yeah. Now what I could do is I could import a little bit of cement. A one-time purchase. Okay, alright. So every once in a while, enough coal comes through. Oh, oh, hello. Did you talk? Did something? I guess something must have topped up. Yeah, this got topped up. Cool. Okay, you know what? That's not too bad, if that's all it takes. This is not drawing any, but that's fine for now, I suppose. How do we finally hit? 
Okay, let me, let's see here. I just want to see how much output we're actually getting over here. As more people arrive. Maybe it is just a matter of people. We still don't have enough to go down over here. Yeah, I, I, mean, I know I need to solve that, and I know I've mentioned it a couple times. I know I need to solve that problem, but we're okay-ish for now, it looks like. We are getting the cement and stuff out, which is good. The gravel is constantly producing. We have so much gravel. Holy crap. He's selling some of this gravel. What's the deal over here? No workers or mechanisms. We don't need mechanisms right now. Concrete's arriving, I think, it looks like. Yeah. There we go. And hopefully the workers can get here. They cannot. Well, we're going to Savasi Bus Platform 5, which I believe is the one down over here. Yeah. So if I can find where that bus is... Uh, where are you? Recognizing the vehicle names. You. Why aren't you going out? I guess we don't need workers right now. That's why it's not actually going out to get any. Come on now. I hope it realizes to get them... ...sooner rather than later. Because otherwise we'll be in a bit of a <laughs> stalemate, so to speak. Right, currently below a million, but we do have our steel train ready to roll out soon to bring us back above a million. I could just just keep myself floating above a million. I guess that would make me happy. Another suggestion I was given was to actually build some bridges. Uh, especially, I'm, I guess, over here, a bridge would not be a bad idea. This traffic constantly gets stuck in. Uh, so getting a couple bridges over here, or getting a bridge over here, might not be a terrible idea at all. brick bridge like here help people go over so that the road never uh, the path never gets blocked again gonna save up a little bit of money before we do that and I think what I'll do is I might actually triple up the speed over here oh look we managed to make it into the millions before August ended yay <laughs> the little things in life right no, 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 no. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> we started September at about a million. Let's see what we can end September in. And I do believe I might want to speed up time a little bit. Just to see how this progresses. I guess it's not going to because we don't have asphalt. They're not going to bring workers or anything. I might need to pay for this. Oh my god, 55k. Every little bit sound feels so expensive right now. Yeah, I mean, I guess we pay for this. Okay, we'll make that money back soon enough. Oh, 38k. I was looking at the dollars, yeah, 38k. Still a lot of money, but... Let's go ahead and fund the construction. What I can do is I can wait until the asphalt's here. And then cancel the contract as soon as it's arrived. Now continue construction. Again, if we can get some of the steel and stuff ourselves, mechanical components again is something I'm going to have to pay for. If we can minimize, then I'll be happy. There's steel train left. It has indeed. Okay, good. I was like, don't tell me you've already made the drop off. 37k. Cool. Keeping ourselves floating above a million. There we go. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I need that thing, like, moving back and forth more often. Oil, I've been told countless times, is one of my most viable resources, and I need to get on that. I totally understand, and I totally agree. I do need to get on that ASAP. Uh, it's just the, the cost I need to balance out. 
And I, I do want to make sure I want to eliminate some of my ex or my some of my import costs first. I want to try to completely eliminate all this money I'm wasting on fabric. Iron will unfortunately stay there for a while, but I think our ratio there is pretty big. Our uh our cost to expense ratio. But let's see, last uh, month we made 72 G's on steel. And we lost 32. So still losing a fair bit of money on the on getting the iron, but I'm okay with that. I'm not as worked up about that as I am about uh, like having to build everything and, and the fabric. The, the, the ratio is worse with the fabric, so definitely feel definitely feeling the need for uh, for the fabric factory first. Come on. We've got steel available. Gonna maybe send that train back if it starts coming back too soon. Well, it is making its way back. How much money are you gonna make me? Another 10k? Gotta love those clothes. Clothes are very helpful. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Okay, what's coming here? Got a couple of these open hulls coming here. Alright, good stuff. They're making it here. Got 16 tons right now. Offload some of that. This train. Go ahead and turn you around. Then you empty hand into the customs house. Confuse them a little bit. Alright, cool. That was weird actually that it was turning up to go that way. And it still is. Hmm. I, I guess it wants to. Make a little loop around. That's okay. It buys us more time. We saw this happen last time as well. I tried this, so it's fine. Not too upset about that. Loading this last one up. God. So much steel. That's good. At least at least we're getting the work done over here. Kind of on our own. 33k is what the price says right now. Let's speed it up a little bit. For eyes on these trains. Make sure that nothing gets caught up. So you're going to loop around, right? You're going to make your way back? Yep. Ooh. What's the deal here? It's just because these guys are all locked in place. All right, let's go ahead and maybe push you through. There we go. Okay, good. I was like, don't tell me we're all gridlocked over here. Okay, smooth. Up you go and through. Up you go and through. Okay, good. That train decided to interrupt everything. It's cool seeing all the stuff in fast, uh, kind of going in like high speed. Putting up some clothes, I hope. Uh, just a couple. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Now, what's the deal? We have most of the steel we need. Where'd that train go? Just sworn I saw it rolling in. There it is. Back to the customs house again, empty handed. Alright. Good stuff. Just in case we need a bit more steel. I think we're getting enough steel with this last delivery, maybe. 15 tons should be enough. Oh no, wait, I need 20 something tons. Okay. Still need 10 tons. You are carrying no passengers. Okay. Great, that's good. That's that's helpful. We already have some workers here though, so that's good. We are getting some work done. And you are currently picking up some okay, good. Good stuff. Alright. And now finally we can uh set up for export again. Where is that train? Where is that damn train? Oh, it's here already. Hope we're carrying enough back. Five tons. No, we're a little short. At that point, I might just pay for it. Because we're going to have to pay for some stuff anyways. Five tons of steel is expensive. But look at that. We've dropped the price by 11k. Feeling good. Feeling pretty good about that. Okay. Finally taking control of our own destinies. <laughs> Workers are coming here at a decent rate. 
We've got people working up there. The bus has worked well for us. Wow. What is this about? Are, are you loading, like, directly from this truck? That was a weird slowdown. I mean, I think the truck was loading directly from... And that stopped everything there. That's kind of silly. The buses and everything. I got three buses arriving here at the same time. I didn't think that would happen. I feel like I need, like, a relief. No, see, yeah, they... Oh, I guess it was the truck behind that was blocking up the whole thing. Wow. Interesting to see that. Interesting to see the limitation of the roads there a little bit. Trains back here loading up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Halfway through the month, we've made a lot of money. Partly because I didn't spend all of it on this. Need six more tons of steel. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Send you off. Need a little bit more steel. You're heading down? Yeah. The steel will be there for us. Long way to go. It's such a long drive. Right? Look at that money roll in. The steel is really... Really happy about that steel call. Definitely, definitely working out for us. Is this one of these trucks, I imagine? Is it you? Yeah. Come on, I believe in you. You can get there before the train does. I don't want to have to stop the train again. How much are you making us? 6k, alright. Not bad. Alright, good. I just want to make sure the truck got here first. Loads up. And is able to go. All I had to do was let the game run a little bit. Like you guys were saying in the comments. Just gotta... Relax, let the game run a little bit. Now over here, we'll, we're, we're going to have to force the construction, for sure. But, I mean, because of the mechanical components primarily. But, at least we've minimized the cost as much as possible. Went from 33 down to 20 on the second set of uh, contract, uh, sending out a contract. Our coal seems to be okay now as well, so that's good. Very good. You're not getting any. Why aren't you getting any? Could up productivity here a little bit. Maybe that'll draw some more coal out. All right. I see we got a little crane on here as well. Apparently the cranes help speed up uh, construction times and stuff. So thank you for that hot tip. There we go. Got all the steel in there. Wow, look at that. What else do we need in here? Can we get any of the work done? We do have the bus out, I believe. Trying to pick people up. Bring back 46 people. I wish I could clean up the roads here a little bit. But I guess that's the thing about a hillside, right? Like, you, you get these kinds of weird kinds of roads. So I want to see how much uh, workers actually affect the cost here. If we get 46 people up here uh, working for a handful of days, like, how much does it actually drop the cost? Because we're at 17k right now. Definitely affordable uh, compared to what it was before. I mean, it was affordable before as well, but now a lot more reasonable, I suppose. Let's see, we got 46 people over here. As each day goes by, go from the 21st to the 22nd. Okay, that didn't really drop it at all. I, I guess I didn't expect it to. Imagine the difference here is going to be marginal compared to actually having the uh, the resources. So we, we might rush this out. Again, 17k, not that bad. Yeah, okay, let's just let's just rush this out at this point. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. The cog components are coming in very slowly, unfortunately. But it's okay. I mean, wow. That uh, that was mostly our own work. Mostly our own work. Beautiful. I want to go ahead and say that we uh, we mostly built that ourselves. Now, with that done, what we can do is we can go ahead and tell you to pick stuff up over here, right? And with that done, we can start looking at mechanical components and uh, warehouses. And also, we should be able to build roads ourselves. So let's go ahead and, I think, pause it. 
the problem is that this road is extremely busy so we're gonna have to build a road to uh, lay off some of the stress over here now the sun is setting what i could do is i could give it some time uh let the sun set let it rise again and then get to work but basically what we need to do is uh, create a gap in the roads over here and i don't think we get enough of a break in traffic to do that if i pause it now try it yeah see. there's all a lot of vehicles are constantly trying to push through here what i could do is i could do a little cutoff I don't want to keep it cut off during all the construction, though. We'll probably have to build, like, a relief road. I'm thinking over here, perhaps. See, because what, what do we get? We get, uh, we're going to have the warehouse over here that'll pick up resources, move around the loop, and go down to the customs house. And then more vehicles coming in from... This isn't the end of the world. It's a little unfortunate for anything that has to go here and then down south and over to trade. Or the uh, cement, I guess. That's going to be unfortunate. Because it'll have to go all the way down. All the way down. They should... I hope they're able to go through the uh, the cargo... The road cargo uh, station. That would make sense, but I have a feeling that's not the case. I saw the smoke disappear and I was like, Did you stop making steel? The steel mills never stop. Money's doing alright. Now, workers are... Oh, you know what? Workers aren't able to get there. Could be able to. Let's go ahead and build a footpath. Hmm. I should have built this closer. Try, try doing something here. Building in the way, come on. Ugh. Other options don't like that. I don't know if that'll actually make it easier to get to. Yeah, this is <laughs> it's so silly. Do that. This we can't. This won't work with us. Okay. Come on. Building in the way. Move you up this way. There we go. This weirdness is always the thing that bothers me most about this game. Because we got it done, it just took a lot of effort. Okay, auto build. Right? If we do that, then surely. Ah, people can't walk there. That's too bad. I don't want to have an extra bus stop just for the. Uh, I can get a car that drives people up there, I suppose. All this because I wanted to get uh, gravel easily. We can get the steel here, right? What do I sign the construction? Mm, let's go ahead and check real quick. Did I just pay for that? I did not. Okay, cool. What's the construction office that's assigned to it? You. Okay, cool. Now the question is, how do you get to this construction site? How do you get to this construction site? Now let's go ahead and just on this one. It's not that bad. That's fine. Okay. Cool. Now you're getting gravel. Yay. At least there's that vitamin we need to import. 
won't be that much of import there. Um, vitamin's expensive, so we just have to be very wary of that. Let's go ahead and... This is where having those cars being sold right now would have been helpful. But no, let's go ahead and buy... Where am I? Where am I? It not fall under bus, does it? I could, could just get a micro bus. Yeah, how many how many people do we need up here? Six. Or sorry, five. Wow, literally red five thought six because I saw this last. Uh sure. You know what? Let's go ahead and get this little micro bus over here. You, my good friend, are going to move to here and then up to here. Hopefully that'll get us people moving up. Now, while the sun's up, I need to sort this nonsense out. And we're never going to get a gap over here that's big enough. Let's go ahead and build a road. Like over here? Oh. Close to the road. Do one like here. Overlaps with the existing infrastructure, of course. Guessing this stuff is too low. Come on, you can drive under that. <laughs> God, that's frustrating. Okay, that's not the end of the world, not the end of the world. Surely there's a space over here where we can send... Too sharp an angle, railway crossing. Okay, okay. Hmm. Well, that's not good you down that way, I guess. Glad I'm in blueprint mode. Oh, this is not good. Act these guys a little too closely. I mean, I could do something like this, I suppose. So much wasted space. You loop up and just to loop back down. All that backtracking is painful. The app does get bigger over here. Gotta be a spot. Sorry, I feel like I'm, uh, like the definition of insanity going on over here. So sure we could cross over. Oh, did I see a green? But I did. Ah, uh, we, it looks like, looks like I was wrong. Looks like I was wrong. Okay, not the end of the world. We'll have to loop around. It's not the ideal setup. But it'll do for now. That, I wonder if there is a... Uh, we can loop, we can push through... Over to here. Right, is there space down here? No, there isn't. Oh, there is. Interesting. We're in blueprint mode, so let's just, let's just figure this out. Get rid of this thing. Over to you real quick. Road out all the way. Uh, okay, still not the end of the world. At least we can get this, right? Cancel that. Let's go ahead and do the electricity before I forget and everything goes sideways. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. Auto build you right away. Now the roads. Okay, so you're going this way. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, this is where the warehouse is going to go. I don't think this needs to be disturbed. Ah, oh, it really is too bad that we can't do that. What happened with existing construction? Okay. That's this right here that's causing that trouble. We can do something like that. And that. Okay, okay. Don't hate that. Don't hate that. Uh, do I need to auto-build this? Electronic components. 
It is kind of expensive. Let's go ahead and get it commissioned by the construction office. Go, all right. Just so we can maybe get some of the resources on here. At least we can get the gravel on here, right? It's not where most of the cost is coming from. Maybe if we can get the gravel and the steel on here. You're doing okay. You're doing okay, bud. Are you sending anything out? Yes, you are. These guys are loading up, it looks like. I guess we can only do two at a time. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough, not the end of the world. Are you actually going to the construction site? Yep, unfinished road. Excellent. Very exciting times. I guess that fabric factory. I don't know if we're going to get it done this session. Holy crap, this is... A problem. Okay, not... Sure. What caused that? Get you out of here. This is a serious problem. My eyes on this stuff more. Like I'm not sure what caused that stoppage. But it definitely slowed down production over here because all these buses now are empty. Thing is, if people are out working for too long, uh, they teleport back home. They're like if they're out in transit for too long, I mean, they teleport back home. So that was not good. I wish like a little alert would pop up when weird things like that is happening. Oh, hey, would you look at that? Look at that. Look at that. We are building this road ourselves. Huh. Feels pretty good. Now, why are you stuck here? No, you're loading up. Okay, good, you're good. That's pretty funny, actually, how this gets, like, laid out like that. We don't need bricks here. Alright, that's what I thought. Cool, very cool. This is the, the road to success over here. <laughs> Being self-sustaining. Taking forever, but cheaper now so 24k is what it is right now we'll see how much lower it goes no you're gonna get the gravel everywhere <laughs> make another 6k over there cool how's our steel steel train doing ah you can't rename trains that's too bad i guess it just made it delivery it's loading up again 22 tons 23 tons okay the thing is another, another feature at least that was advertised in the game way back when it was you know first mentioned and stuff before it was early access even uh was a price fluctuation so the price of resources would actually change, like the cost and, and sell, sales price would change based on supply and demand. So imagine you like flood the market with steel and then the value of steel goes down and all the investment you made in steel, uh, you know, is wasted. So that's another feature that was mentioned way back when. Oh, would you, oh that's so cool. Oh, it's too bad this is happening at night. That's so cool. It's actually, yeah, there we go. There's that sunrise. All right. Awesome. Building their own roads here. That's going so fast as well. Going really fast, actually. Yeah, nice little, nice little shot of this bad boy at work. It's gonna pass through here. There we go. There we go. Oh, whoa! The tight quarters. Got a turn around over here. Oh, it's out of gravel. Just your moment of glory, man. Yeah, you, you, your moment of glory. You had to, you had to ruin it. That's pretty cool, though. Seeing all these mechanisms at work, seeing all these anima animations that we weren't seeing earlier. Awesome. Oh, he's back at it. Oh, that's so cool. Sorry, I'm like geeking out over something. I guess that's pretty silly. Okay, that's all the gravel being used up. Excellent. Price has been dropped down. Yeah. Okay. Asphalt, unfortunately. I guess we could produce. 
Go ahead and get... Oof, God, that's expensive. Gravel gonna come through is the question. Because we need that. Because, yeah, then if we can get to the next phase... And then we can get the steel on here. That'll be the thing that reduces the cost the most. Getting the steel on here. You, you can't be empty. I wish we could tell it to wait until it's been filled. Because my other option is to actually send it to a house. Send to a specific house. I believe I can do that. I can say, no, I have to pick a bus stop. Bus stops are pretty topped up as a thing. Like, they, they flow through pretty smoothly, I think. Oh, what's happening here? Are we stuck again? I need to figure something out for, uh... For when this happens. This shouldn't be looping up this way. Like, I wonder if I... If it's just a matter of... Making a little... Exit. Nah. Nothing nice is going to fit there. But this needs to be sorted out. So it slows us down a lot. Go ahead and send you through. Because once that goes through, this train will be freed up, I think. Right? Yeah. Oh, and that's how this happens. I see. I guess that's how that happened last time. Yeah, we definitely need to figure something out for for that train. I don't know why it doesn't go down this way. We do have the chain. Right, so it can pick which way to go. Almost tempted to make this a two-way all the way through. And then it can swap over here. Maybe that'll do the trick. Let's try it. Try it. That's, this is like the dumbest crack I've ever laid out, I think. But we'll see what it does. What's the deal over here? Are we making asphalt? We are not, because we don't have people. Where is that? Bus of ours, little micro bus. Oh, he's got, yay, he's got five workers. And, of course, he's got to stop for gas. Look like right there. Come on. We have work to do. This is the one thing I'm worried about with the, uh, with the asphalt is... Now, I'll need to build another bus stop. This is such a weird expansion. Holy crap. Look at that, though. Harvest season's come about again. Look how big this city has gotten. All right. Workers are here missing gravel. How are we missing gravel? We've got so much. Stop pushing it through that way. Okay. Oh, still says no gravel there. Alright, to hell with it. We've got workers here. Not that expensive. Problem is how quickly it fills up. Yeah, okay. Well at least it's at least it's working. It's just so annoying. I, I kinda I now regret putting it up there. I can't believe the gravel's being a problem. It's not that we don't have enough gravel either. I guess the production rate isn't that fast. They're topped up. And the coal situation seems to have... See, we've maxed out coal ore. Yeah, yeah, we've maxed out coal ore. Great. Coal production is at its highest. Probably get some more workers over here. I 
Actually, no, we were fine where we were. I didn't notice the uh, the trucks that were loading up bricks. Cool, okay. This is good. It's good, you're good. Hey, there it is. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> way, to, way to ruin the excitement, guys. There we go, yeah! Awesome! Hell yeah. Feel like a high roller here. Over a million bucks. We got a literal roller out on the field. On the field, you know what I mean. That's super cool. I don't, I don't know what to use as the thumbnail. Do we go with these guys or do we go with the uh, little mechanism from earlier? Now, this, this is really cool. This is super cool. I feel accomplished. This game does a good job of that. That's so cool. That's so cool. Oh, sorry. I'm tripping out over the, like, the silliest stuff, I know. But we've done well over there. We have cheapened the cost of this by a fair bit, I imagine. Yeah, look at that. Constantly dropping. The asphalt's not that expensive, but there's so much quantity of it. Once we get to the steel, once we get the steel on here, which I'm guessing is for the uh, street lights and stuff, it's going to be easy. It's going to be much cheaper. How are trains doing? You're okay over there. You're unloading. Lots of steel. Oh, yeah, look at that. Constant supply. Beautiful. Why is it only... 40 tons is only making us 15k? I thought it was a much bigger... Hmm. Weird. Unless that feature is already in where, uh... Where values are, are changing. But let me just check one thing really quickly. We have made money this month. What about last month? Yeah, we made 16k last month. This month we made 32k. Trending upwards. I like that. I like that. There's our, uh, there's our this year. I wish that graph was a little bit bigger. Very awesome, though. Feeling like we're getting sustainable. Market prices. So the value is not the actual money of amount. Okay, okay, got it. Very cool. Very cool. We're making money. That's the 31st. Can we get to 32k? I doubt it. Dropping pretty quickly right now. Yeah, that's okay. That's pretty cool, though. We almost doubled between the two days. Rose being laid out. Okay, good stuff. Interesting to see the uh, steps as well for how the road gets constructed in terms of, like, what build, what vehicles arrive, where they arrive, how they animate and stuff like that, where they wait. Oh, 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 we've made it. We're over 32k. Yes, excellent. That's awesome. We made 30, almost 33 that's really good, alright. Let's keep that going, shall we? Now that we've reduced the construction costs, it's gonna make a big difference. Alright, so this road, again, is a bit of a relief road. What we're actually doing this for is so that we can build up over here. It's gonna take a long time to get that stuff done. It's gonna take a long time. And I think we're going to have to move this as well. Like, well, Again, what we're going to do is get the uh, road cargo station like so, right? So we're going to have to move these up a little bit. It's fine. We're going to have to flatten this terrain. That's going to be the worst part of it. But yeah, this will go like somewhere like perhaps here-ish maybe. Maybe we can fit it here. Nah. The terrain needs to be flattened. And to flatten it, we're going to have to destroy this stuff. And then the warehouse itself is uh, pretty chunky as well. The warehouse will probably do something like this. So again, we can load onto the uh, cargo station. And the road will connect over here. Yeah, definitely going to require some flattening, some destruction. Oh, that's okay. I'm just thrilled we're doing this. Speed it up. Are you guys stuck here again? Nope. How's the clothes industry doing? Pretty well. You know what I haven't paid attention to are my residents for the longest time. I have not cared for their uh, requirements, like the students waiting for professors. We should maybe research some stuff. I need my professors here to teach. 
What is my situation looking like? 11 escapes, okay. Okay. Escape's not that bad. Death's seemingly going up. Birth's going down. That's not good. <laughs> that's, that's not good. It's education is... No education is, okay, dropping. University education is going way up. That's great. Yeah, no education. That needs to drop a little bit faster, please. I wonder if I need more schools, actually. Because we've got... Uh, it's a kindergarten. At the school here, look at that. There's a lot of students that aren't actually learning because we don't have that many teachers. I could hire... Like, bring in some... Uh, university-educated people to, to teach here. If we can cap this up, then we should be able to teach more people. That's where we're getting the lack of education from, is that our we don't have enough schools. That's so cool seeing all, like, the ports and stuff. This is definitely the happier neighborhood. My god, it's like ants. Let's go ahead and bring in some more... Experts. Right? That. We also need staff here. Why is this... Why is this university educated individual... In the staff rather than the teaching crew? Come on. Sp spread yourselves out right. Okay, good. We're teaching here. And this school over here as well is probably... Okay, this school is not doing too poorly. This is working... I assume that at times it's at cap. Probably a safe assumption to make. Now what's the deal over here with the road? Hey, we're just in time to see the connection made, I think. Yep, looks like it. And... Boom. Done. Beautiful. Okay, awesome. That only costs 12k. So if we can get the steel over here... If we can get the steel over here, that'd be huge. In reducing the cost. 54k. That really has the price gone down? I can't remember now what it used to be or anything. It just feels so off. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Very possible I'm just imagining things. It's okay, that's good. 50? That's good. Compared to the start of the session to where we are now. Feeling much better. Workers are here, asphalt's here. You guys are working away. They're working away as well. I need more stone quarries as well because we're spending money on stone. Ooh. Something's arrived. A steel train. Oh my god. We might actually make it to 1.1 at some point soon. We might actually see 2 million rubles again. Eventually. It's a slow burn making money. Well, eventually what's going to happen is we're not going to be... What is? Look at that guy. That's a crazy driver over there. Uh, eventually, we're not going to be spending money on uh, on raw materials, on fabric either. Are we out of power? What's the deal here? Okay. I guess should have built that bridge sooner rather than later. Can't go that way. Well, well, now we're out of power. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I need to get people up here. Or, you know what I could do is I could... Import. Right? 
We have this going up over here. It connects directly to this. Or no, it goes through. This is not good. So distracted by how th that that's why I avoid three speed. Uh okay, this is uh this is this is a solvable problem. This is a solvable problem. What I need to do is just I need to get uh, roads. Off to the side here. Oh, hold on. See, what I think what I need to do is I need to get roads off to the side here. So these guys relieve this main area. I'm going to delete this, get a bridge going over here. Wow, if I'd done the bridge at the beginning of this session, we would not have this right now. But yeah, people need to get to work. Holy crap, we've got hundreds of people just waiting there. No wonder it's so dead up over here. But hey, at least we finished this road. Well, almost. At least we did a lot of work on it. And on that note, folks, on this terrible, terrible gridlock over here. Well, not even a gridlock. These guys are just, like, not able to go. I wonder if... On this note, though, folks, we're going to call it a session. Uh, we've hit that hour mark, as I like to keep these an hour long. It's an easy solution. It's just a matter of doing it. Unfortunately, we're going to waste some money there, but hey... Mistakes happen, you pay the price, right? That's what we're doing here. But hey, we are ending this session with more money in the bank than we started it with. I don't know how often that's happened. Not very often, I'm willing to bet. But uh, a good spot to end things, I think. As always, if you had a good time, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Till next time, das vidanya.